The Apple Watch heart rate sensor and ECG feature may do more harm than good. Well, that's a little rough. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that. But of course, the headline will get your attention, yep. as it would. Uh, Apple, in the commercials, they're always talking. On the presentations, they're always talking. Look, it saved that person's life right there. Mm -hmm. And you watch it and you say, that's mm -hmm. good stuff. Person's alive. I love it. ECGs for everyone. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out, Will, that there's some people that those those things don't work so well for. And in particular, young people. I don't know if you knew this. Mm -hmm. Apparently, this ECG technology on the wrist is uh, not intended for people under 22 years of age. Hmm. That's strange, isn't it? Yeah, the, why is that? Well, I guess the heart activity at that age is a little more sporadic. Oh. Quite possibly, or for whatever reason, the technology, the way it interacts, is it must be more uh, less reliable, I would guess, hmm. on somebody under 20. I don't know how they picked 22, but you know what I'm saying. They had a FDA had to draw the line somewhere. Hmm. And it also doesn't work very well for individuals who were previously diagnosed with some type of fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation. So if you actually had the issue to begin with, probably that watch is popping off and you're like, no, no, no I know I have that issue. You know, I just mm -hmm. got to take my medication. Yeah, stop warning me. Leave me alone. Mm -hmm. As far as doing more harm than good, here's how they broke down that headline. Uh, a, a number of people, they showed up to emergency rooms because the watch told them, hey, you might be in trouble and you're going to go. Mm -hmm. You might feel fine, but you're looking at the watch and you're thinking to yourself, Yeah, might as well. You know, I'm gonna go get this. always right. I'm going to go get this checked out. Yeah. Now, for you, you might hit the emergency room over there and you just showed a health card because you got OHIP and everything else. Uh -huh. And it doesn't really affect you. Mm -hmm. If they say, no, you're fine. That watch is dumb. Will, you're under 22. Mm -hmm. And you're like, no, I'm not. I'm not. But, well. but presuming you get a false positive, yeah. let's say, it doesn't hurt you that much. But what if... You were under the age of 22 or you had a pre-existing condition and then you went in and you actually paid yeah. for that emergency room visit because you didn't have insurance or something. And then it could, I guess in that case, it could do more harm, but you have to, you're not doing too well without a heart either. Uh -huh. But anyway, they took some data from various Mayo Clinic sites in Minnesota, Arizona, Florida, Wisconsin, and Iowa. They had 264 patients who visited after having the irregular heart activity, which showed up on the Apple Watch. And out of those 264, only 30 people uh, had new clinically actionable cardiovascular diagnoses of interest. Hmm. In other words, the vast majority didn't really have issues. Hmm. And so again, look, I'm not going with this headline that it's doing more harm than good. I think if you're one of those 30 people, that's a big deal. Yeah. That your watch picked up a heart irreg irregularity that is actually going to get some treatment and may not turn into something terrible. But I do understand that uh, I would have wanted to know. I just feel it's not really well publicized yeah. that if you're under 22, it probably it, it isn't really approved for use for you. Yeah, maybe just a disclaimer. I'm sure it is somewhere. I'm sure it's listed somewhere, but it's just, if you're watching this and you're under the age of 22, just keep that in mind that that particular feature may not function in the same way it does for people that are that are older, or you may be more likely to get the, the false positive when it comes to uh, some sort of irregularity mm. with the heart behavior, at least according to this particular report. I guess the good news here is that most of these people were fine. Mm -hmm. And the other good news is the 30 that weren't, they found out. So I don't yeah. really go with the headline. I don't think it's doing more harm than good, but just be aware that the watch is not a replacement for an actual evaluation and it might not necessarily be right. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure these disclaimers are in there somewhere, but whatever.